Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is a match reaction, it's Middlesbrough versus Luton. But before I get on with like today's match reaction, can we drop a like on today's video? Comment below your thoughts about the game against Middlesbrough. Let me know how you felt the boys performed. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And guys, if you'd like to become a member of my channel, click the link down below. You get exclusive perks if you guys want to become a member. So, Middlesbrough versus Luton. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys my pre match thoughts at the time, my half time thoughts, and then my full time thoughts. So, before the game, I predicted a nil nil draw. I didn't expect many opportunities in this game. And to be fair, if you look at the whole game itself, there weren't many opportunities created for both teams. I also knew that if Middlesbrough get the first goal, Luton will be in trouble because. For some reason, against teams like Middlesbrough, who are very good at defending set pieces, who play that style of football, we just can't break them teams down. You know, we've played against Millwall, we've played against Cardiff, and now we've played against Middlesbrough. All three teams play the same, you know, and we struggled to break Middlesbrough down throughout the whole game. Looking at the lineup, I was actually quite positive with it. I thought it was a good enough lineup to get a positive result, so I didn't have any question marks over the lineup and I was positive before the game I was I wasn't expecting anything because we are the away team but I was positive that we could get something from the game against Middlesbrough and looking at the first half I thought we were the better team I thought we just about like edged it in terms of being the better side Middlesbrough didn't create much they didn't really test us too much I think we came the closest from from a corner but apart from that not many chances were created and we kind of outworked them a little bit and Warnock actually agreed with that you know he <laughs> at half time told the Middlesbrough players look they're working harder than you we need to match up to them and that's a good sign to be fair that we are being the team that is working the hardest but because Warnock told them at half time that they need to match up to us they did and within the first 10 minutes of the second half, they got their goal. It was quite poor how we defended for that goal. Was it against the runner play? I'm not too sure. It was from a throw-in. We should be doing a lot better than that. We got out on, on a bit of pace there. And to be fair, they got their goal. And that's where I knew it was going to be a long game after. Because Middlesbrough, they're not going to go for the second. They've got what they needed, which was the goal. So they knew that they could sit back and let us attack them because they knew they could defend against that. And we just couldn't break down that defence. We had a massive opportunity to do that. Do I think it was a penalty? Yes. I do think it's harsh to be sent off for it though because what more can a player do if he's on the floor? Like he's literally just fell onto the floor. Whether or not Collins, I think it was Collins, had an impact on him falling, I'm not too sure. I know Warnock, after the game, said that he pulled him. I need to re-watch that again. But at the time, I thought, yeah, that's definitely a penalty. However, a red card, I thought, was a little bit too harsh. If that was a Luton player, I would be saying that's very harsh. But I would also say it's a penalty. And then we have the penalty itself where James Collins stepped up and he double hit it. I can't understand how... An experienced like, striker like James Collins can do that. He shouldn't be doing it, you know. He really shouldn't be doing it. I don't think any player, it doesn't matter what level you are playing at, especially in the Premier League and Championship, like, you are in top leagues now. Like, surely you shouldn't be doing stuff like that. But yeah, a massive opportunity was blown. What I find really strange was the referee and the linesman didn't see it and Middlesbrough, fair play. Their players obviously spotted it and appealed it and carried on appealing it. And rightfully so, it was disallowed because Collins did double hit it. But how can the ref not see it? I don't get that. I really don't how officials in the championship cannot see that. It's very poor. Very, very poor by the officials. And to be fair, after that penalty, we just struggled to create opportunities for ourselves. We just couldn't do it. We just... We kept crossing the ball. We kept relying on our set pieces. And that's what Middlesbrough wanted. They wanted us to do that because that's their bread and butter. They know how to defend against that. They work on that probably every day in training. And we were never going to score unless they made a mistake while we tried to do that. And we almost got it with a Luke Berry header, which their keeper made a fantastic save, by the way. But that was it. We just couldn't 
break down that defence. And that is something as a team we need to kind of work on. Would a new striker solve that? I don't think so because it all comes from the midfield creating those opportunities. A striker won't create an opportunity for himself. He ain't going to do that 99% of the time. He relies on other players around him to create those opportunities. Should we have put a second striker on a lot earlier? Yes. Why did Tony Cliff come on? I don't know. Surely... I know Hilton doesn't have a goal in the championship, but surely you'd have him on or Sam Nombe on before Tony Cliff. That's my personal opinion on that. Because with two strikers, you're asking more questions for the ministers like defence. Whereas with one striker, you're not asking too many questions. And that was pretty much it, guys. We just, going forward, we just couldn't break down that Middlesbrough's defence. Defensively, we were fine. We limited Middlesbrough to limited chances. Due to their style of play, they're not going to create many chances unless they do that three set pieces, which they couldn't get because they were one new up and they weren't going to push for the second. So we were in a situation where we just couldn't break them down and it's just a shame that we just couldn't score the penalty because if we did it could have been a different game we could have gone on for the second you know because Middlesbrough at home when they're the home side they're not going to allow to get a draw at home they're going to want to get the three points and fair play to them they played their style of football and it worked and they got the win in the end but it's poor from us because we need to know how to break down defenses a lot better than what we showed basically it's just teams like Middlesbrough Cardiff Millwall we just can't for some weird reason we can't break teams down like that and we're better against teams that like to play football so it's hard but we need to get better at doing that but I do think games like this is what separates clubs getting into the playoffs I'm not saying that we are going to get into the playoffs but if we wanted to get into the playoffs, we have to be breaking teams like Middlesbrough down if we ever want to get into the playoffs. And I think games like today showed that we just weren't able to do that. And that's why I personally don't think we're going to be near the playoffs this season. However, I do believe we are going to be comfortable mid-table in the championship. So there you have it, guys. That is the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy my match reaction from the game against Middlesbrough. I thought defensively we were brilliant, but going forward, it just weren't meant to be. Drop a like on today's video if you did enjoy it. Comment below your thoughts about our performance against Middlesbrough. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.